about uh, nutrition, of course, and drug therapies, of course, and how he recommends you don't do them for the following reasons, which will be revealed as I read the article. <coughs> Getting ready here, of course. Getting Getting ready. Good vocal okay. production. You're doing a few okay. dances yes. and a few, mm -hmm. uh, do some warm-ups. Um, okay, bum, bum, there you bum, go. Bum. All right. Okay. When the cure is worse than the disease, one way to build an income in private medical practice is to hook patients on drugs that continually require re-examination, retesting, and prescription renewal. Blood thinners, for example, require prothrombin tests to determine how long it takes the blood to clot. Blood pressure pills require monitoring of blood pressure. And once patients start taking acid-blocking medications, they will find it nearly impossible to stop taking them. Withdrawal will provoke rebound acidity with throat-gripping pain. Critical examination of the effectiveness of prescription drugs reveals convincing data that most prescription drugs are not only ineffective, but actually worsen the condition being treated. Some of these medications appear to be designed to create lifelong dependency upon the drug. Since drug withdrawal exacerbates symptoms, even some long-standing drugs that are the hallmarks of modern medicine have begun to lose their biological punch. Now, along with this, Mona's going to give you an article later on the program about selective serotonin reuptake inhibitor, inhibitors, uh, antidepressants, okay, and how that compares with natural substances which are so thoroughly effective and non-addictive. But that's a perfect example, taking drugs for uh, dementia or for anxiety or for depression, which in the long term, those drugs create more anxiety and depression. Getting back to this article, the major causes of prescription drugs are failures. Most drugs are never designed to address the underlying biochemical cause of the disease. They may intentionally be designed to create lifelong dependency. And Dr. McCullough goes on to say, when people come to my clinic, it's very common for them to, to lug in a shopping bag full of drugs, but it, also, it almost always starts with just one, one drug that's supposed to make you feel better, but actually makes you feel worse. Hence, the second drug to treat the, drug, the first drug's side effects, and on, and on, and on, and on, until people are turned into walking medicine cabinets. The number of prescriptions taken per capita in the United States has grown exponentially in the past 75 years. In 1929, the average American received less than two prescriptions per year. By 2007, the average annual prescription rate per capita in the United States was...